Good morning, good morning. Hey there, Harpy Doris. Good morning. Hey, Harpy Queen O. Harpy Juanita. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Harpy Tisha. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Harpy Danita. Hey, Harpy Andrea. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Harpy Carolyn. Good morning, good morning. Harpy Troy. Harpy Rachelle. Harpy Delane. Harpy Donald. Harpy Sherry, good morning, good morning. Great, thankful Thursday morning. Yes, yes, yes. And happy Friday Eve. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Harpy Rodney, good morning. Harpy Christine, good morning, good morning. Harpy Rebel, good morning, good morning. Good morning to you and happy Thursday, happy Friday Eve. Good morning, good morning. Hey, listen, let's just get started. I'm excited. God has an encouraging word on this morning like he does every morning. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. And this morning, your daily dosage is stay in faith's atmosphere. Stay in faith atmosphere. And it's so interesting that Heartbeat Rodney is on here this morning because this morning I'm going to be coming from the gospel of Maurice White and Earth, Wind, and Fire. And I know some of you are saying, no, she is not about to preach Earth, Wind, and Fire. Well, you're going to get a little dosage of Earth, Wind, and Fire. And I'm going to add Jesus in there too because it's all about Jesus. But I want to encourage you this morning to stay in faith's atmosphere. Amen. You know, um, last night while I was working on this and yesterday, God was just saying there's somebody out there that's so close to breakthrough. It looks like everything but the kitchen sink is being thrown at you, but he wants you to stand in faith. Don't let go of your faith. You are almost there. That is why everything is coming against you. And so you've got to learn how to stay in an atmosphere of faith. What are you talking about, Pastor G? You've got to have people around you. It is imperative that you have the right people around you to keep you in faith because the circumstances and the situations that you are facing, it will make you doubt God. It will make you think that God doesn't hear you. It's going to look like God has walked away from your situation, but I'm here to tell you this morning on the behalf of God that you are almost there to stay in faith. Keep believing God. I don't care what the doctor report looks like. I don't even care what your body feels like. I don't care what your loved one looks like stay in faith God is a healer God is a deliverer that is all he knows how to do all he does is win he never loses a battle he never has any rivals so stay in faith amen and so make sure you're listening to music that keeps you in faith make sure you're hearing words that keep you in faith's atmosphere and the reason why I said um Maurice White and earth, wind, and fire, because, you know, if you think about it, earth, wind, and fire, and Frankie Beverly Mays, that's who I love, Harvey Rodney, um, they always had positive words, you know, they just got, it's just positive, and so when I'm thinking about this, you know, in having faith, you got to keep your head to the sky, amen, you know, the Bible tells us to look towards the hills, which come from my health, my help coming from the Lord, but you've got to keep your head to the sky and stay in faith atmosphere, and so, um, Earth, Wind, and Fire had a song called Keep Your Head to the Sky. And I'm just going to read a couple of verses. And then I'm going to get into why we're really here. It says this. It says, he gave me the will to be free. Purpose to live his reality. Hey, and I found myself never alone. Chances came to make me strong. So step right up and be a man. Cause your uh, need faith to understand. So we're saying for you to hear, keep your head in faith's atmosphere. And then it begins to go on and say, keep your head to the sky. And so although we were out in the world, what I'm saying to you is this, God was always sending a message to look towards the hills which come with your help, to keep looking up towards the sky, to keep looking up towards him. And I'm saying that to you on this morning, to keep your head to the sky, stay in faith's atmosphere. So let's look at Mark 5. We're talking about Jairus. And you know that he had come 
to, to, um, he was from the, he was a ruler of the synagogue and he had come to Jesus and he said this, he said, my daughter is sick, but I know that if you come that she will be healed. She won't die. That she's like right at death's brink. It says that Jesus begins to proceed to go with him. But then all of a sudden here comes the woman with the issue of blood. And she was determined that if I could just touch the hem of God's garment, I know I'll be made whole. And so right here we can see that there's always something happening. You think you have God's attention. It looks like God is, he's looking at your situation. It looks like all eyes are on your matter. And there here comes something that looks like God just walked away from your situation. But it says if you can continue to read that, that account or if you bring it back to your remembrance, J.R. has never left the side of Jesus. You never see anywhere where it says that he went on. But it says that Jesus does what he does. You know, he pays attention to everybody. The woman got healed. He told the woman, your faith has made you whole. It says then the people who were at the house with the kids, you know, came and said, don't bother Jesus any longer for your daughter has died. It says that right in that instant that Jesus was like, pause, flag on the play, stop that lie right there. Don't believe that. See, Jesus was right there to encourage him. Believe what you said. You spoke a word that said that if you wanted me to come and that I could heal your daughter, what am I saying to you? No matter what it looks like, you spoke a word. You released words of faith. You believe God is going to heal. You believe God is going to do something supernaturally for you. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what your friends say. I don't care what your family say. Do you see that Jesus said, pause, flag on the play. Don't listen to that outside noise. Stay right where you are in faith. Keep your head to the sky. Stay in an atmosphere of faith. It says that he says, no, 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 no. Don't listen to that. And it says that he went on and it says this. It says that he only took three. He took James, John, and Peter. He only took those who had the faith to believe. He says she's not dead. You know, they started laughing like, oh, he is tripping. And I know some of us, we have spoken words of faith around people that don't have no faith. And they begin to laugh. They thought that you were crazy. But I'm trying to tell you, you keep speaking those words of faith. Because they are about to see what you said. And I can assure you that that laugh is going to be different when they see you produce what you said, when they see that everything that you said, that it has manifested because you were standing on the words of faith. So getting back to the account, it says that when Jesus went in the room, you know, they were laughing. He's in a, he only took people with him that will be in a, an atmosphere of faith. He took the mother, he took the father, and he took his peeps. He went on in there and he told that girl to get up. What am I telling you? Get up from where you are. Don't you be discouraged on this morning. Don't you let that medical report rock you. Don't you let words from others change your mind. Get up from where you are. It says, it, 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 the, the Bible says, he told her to get up. Then she got up and she started moving around. She was, you know, looking as if nothing had ever happened. I'm saying to you on this morning, did you need to get up? And it's get up and do what God has called you to do. Get up and do what you already said. It even says this. It says that Jesus told them to get her something to eat. So what am I telling you? You better start feasting on the word of God. You better start feasting on what you know. You better start feasting on affirmations and confessions on this morning. Get up from where you are. Stay in a posture of faith. Keep your head to the sky from where all of your help comes from because your breakthrough is right there on the brink. That's why every Everything is coming against you. That's why Satan is trying to discourage you. But I'm here on this morning sent straight from God, straight from God for you to tell you, don't you give up. Don't you throw in the towel. Don't you believe the things that you're hearing. It's just noise. It's just a distraction. You keep focusing on what the word of God says. You keep focusing on what you know God told you. Get up and feast on the word of God. Get up and do what he called you to do. Get up and go get your blessing. Get up and go get all that is owed to you. Get up and steal everything that the devil thought he took from you. Get up, get up, get up with all power in your hand. Get up and go receive all that God has for you. Remember, you got benefits. It belongs to you anyway. Hold on to your healing. Hold on to your prosperity. Hold on to everything that God has already given to you. For you're made in his image. You have the power in your mouth. You have the power within you. You were created by Jesus. His DNA is flowing through your veins. You can do this. You will make it. I believe you're going to make it. You got to believe you're going to make it. And God sent a word for you on this morning to tell you, don't be discouraged because breakthrough is at
at your reach. Don't you give up now. I need you to get up from where you are. Throw your hands up in the air and give God a praise. Give God a hallelujah praise. Do your dance right where you are. Let the devil know you thought you had me. You thought you were going to take me out. But Jesus loves me so much that he sent me a word to say, get back in the ring. Start throwing those punches because you win. You are backed by heaven and all that you do. Glory to God. Breakthrough is right here. I don't know who this is for, but God won't let me be quiet this morning. Get up off your feet. Get up from where you are. Begin to praise Jesus because your breakthrough is right there. Don't you lay down right now. Don't you sit down right now. You've worked too hard. You've been at this thing too long. God is about to deliver to you on this morning. This is your confirmation. This is your email that your package is on the way. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Feast on the word of God this morning. For your breakthrough, glory to God, is right there. Stay in an atmosphere of faith. Don't be moved by what you see. Don't be moved by what you hear. Don't be moved by what you feel. You only be moved by the word of God. And the word of God says you win. The word of God says that you're more than a conqueror. The word of God says that the battle belongs to the Lord. It ain't about you. It's about him. But you better stand up flat footed. You better look that joker in the eye and let it know that you win. That the battle has all already been won. Stay in faith. Don't you move. Stay in faith. Keep believing. Don't you move. Get around people that believe with you. Don't you move. Get away from them naysayers. Don't you move from the word of faith. It says he told her to get up and to feast and get her something to eat. Feast. Feast in this time of famine. Be satisfied during this time. Glory to God. Hey, listen. That's your daily dosage for today. I hope that it encouraged your heart. I hope that it encouraged your spirit. Hey, listen, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, I'm telling you to do so. There you can find all of your dosages in one place and they will inspire you. They will encourage you. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. Come on, you know how we do this. Say, God wants me whole. Glory to God. And I'm getting whole by the minute. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. I love you guys a whole bunch. And I will see you back here tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Remember, stay in faith's atmosphere. Have a spectacular, amazing day. I love you guys.